Hello everybody, Maven here, and I got my hands on the brand new Microcosm Exotic Heavy Trace Rifle, the first ever Kinetic Heavy, which is something I've been personally asking for for a long time. Like, we should have gotten a Kinetic Rocket Launcher a long time ago. Anyways, this weapon's got a lot to live up to. Not only is it a trace rifle in the heavy slot, but also taking up your exotic slot, so it really needs to do a lot. So we're gonna see how it compares to other things that play the same role, such as machine guns, as well as the Acre Scepter to see how it compares against our other exotic trace rifles. So let's see what it can do. Hope you enjoy. So taking a look at the microcosm, it has a perk paracausal imbuement. So final blows grant additional super energy and this weapon gains bonus damage once your super ends. So I can tell you right now, the Celestial Nighthawk build is gonna love using this at least casually and might give bad juju a run for its money. And then it has the intrinsic perk paracausal beam, fires a beam of kinetic light dealing massive bonus damage to shields. Now we did suspect that this would have intrinsic anti-barrier because of that ability, but sadly it does not. So testing it out against Carl here, it does 4,700 to the crit at 1,000 RPM. So it's chunking him pretty good, but keep in mind that this is without the Paracausal Imbuement perk activated. And now testing with Paracausal Imbuement, I shoot my tether at the ground over there to proc it. And as you can see in the bottom left, we got 20 seconds of Paracausal Imbuement. And now we go up to 5,700 to the crit, which is a 20% damage bonus and shreds him a lot quicker. Now, my first question is how does that compare to the Agar Scepter's will given form cat? List. Well, just eyeballing it, it looks kind of the same because we also get the shatter damage and whatnot. But as you can see, after the Aegir Scepter ends, we get to save about like 65% of our super energy. Whereas with the Microcosm, we actually had to use our super. Uh, some would argue using your super is better than wasting about 30% of it, but to each their own. And now I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison and embarrassingly, the Aegir Scepter comes out slightly ahead of the Microcosm. Plus, on top of that, the Acre Scepter actually has like a very broken ad clear perk and the Microcosm doesn't do anything for ad clear. So I'm telling you guys, the Microcosm is not worth it and the Acre Scepter all the way. Plus, it doesn't even take up the heavy slot to do what it does. But I did not test out its super energy potential. So that's the one niche thing that has me saying that it could be decent for a Celestial Nighthawk build. But other than that, kind of not worth it. And you also have to think about the fact that it's a 1000 RPM weapon in the heavy slot, so you would most likely be using it for ad clear. And uh, it's just not gonna do as good of a job at ad clear as heavy machine guns will. Not only do they not take up the exotic slot, but they also do a better job because they have ad clear perks. Like in the background gameplay, I'm using the unwavering duty with subsistence and incandescent, and the Microcosm ain't got nothing on that. That's just gonna be crazy good for ad clear. But the one thing I will say about the Microcosm and to not lose hope in it is that it does not yet have a catalyst. Uh, at least I haven't gotten the catalyst yet. Um, so if it does get a catalyst, you know, hopefully it gives us some kind of like kinetic tremors or something, that'd be pretty cool. Some kind of way to boost its DPS or boost its ad clear would be nice. So let me know what you think about the microcosm in the comments down below. And that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Final Shape gameplay will be dropping daily on this channel. So make sure to subscribe if you are new and drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video.